Hey there, today I'm going to be making spring onion flatbreads. They are similar to spring onion pancakes, but a lot simpler to make. For the recipe and more information, head over to my blog, craftyepicurean.com. So the inspiration behind this recipe today are these majorly huge, berserk looking spring onions in my garden. I had so many, I needed to find something to use them. So spring onion flatbreads it was. So I'm just showing you how I split them lengthways and then across before I cut them across. And I'm only using the green part of the spring onions as you can see. Then I chop them up as fine as I can get them and I do the same to each leaf of the spring onion. And we chop and dice them up as small as you can get them unless you really like chunky bits of spring onion in your um, flatbreads. Um, if you get standard size spring onions you need about four. Just chop off the top where the uh, roots are and chop it up so you just keep the green part and then chop them up into rings and then chop them up as small as you can get them. Now like I said these are like um, Chinese spring onion pancakes just a lot simpler to make. So I've chopped those spring onions up and put them into a ramekin and I'm just going to put them to the side while I make the dough. So I've got two cups of flour for the dough, I've just put that into a bowl. Here's one cup of hot water, so I've just boiled my jug and then once it's finished boiling put a cup, put it in a measuring jug. I'm adding to that water four tablespoons of sesame oil just add it to the oil so it helps disperse it when we put it to the dough a lot easier and then add one tablespoon of rice bran oil now you can use avocado oil here or a vegetable oil any light flavored oil is best so bring back my flour and I'm now going to make a well in the center of the flour with my chopsticks and then adding the water and oil mixture. So just add it in and then mix it around with the chopsticks or some other mixing implement that you prefer to use when you're mixing dough and just mix it so it's well combined. It won't come together yet like this but you just want to add that. And then add the chopped up spring onions from earlier, just add them straight in and then grab your chopsticks and stir them into the dough until again it's well combined. Um, you can add salt but I find that the sesame oil is salty enough and flavoursome enough for these flatbreads. Alright so once it's well combined I'm just going to get rid of the chopsticks and I'm going to bring in a cup of flour but that's just to sprinkle on to keep it from sticking to my hands as I knead it together. So you want to knead um, the dough until you get a nice firm dough ball and it does take a little while and every time it gets a bit too sticky on my hand I just add a little bit of flour as you'll see as I'm kneading this um, dough for the spring onion flatbreads. So just knead it up and once it comes together as a dough just put it into a flat disc in the bottom of your bowl and cover it with some cling film and you can either just cover it, leave it in the bowl and cover it but I like to take the dough disc out of the bowl and put it on my cling film or plastic wrap and wrap it up before placing it in the fridge for at least 10 minutes preferably 30 minutes is best so it has got good time to rest in the meantime while it's resting in the fridge I'm going to make the sauce for my spring onion flatbreads so that's two tablespoons of light soy sauce you just add it straight into the um, ramekin or dipping dish or dipping plate that you're going to use and of course you can double, triple this recipe depending on how many you make or how many people you've got eating. The next ingredient is one teaspoon of black vinegar, just add that straight in. And I also like to add a bit of heat, so a teaspoon of chilli oil, and then just mix it around. 
and give it a little bit of a taste to see if it's to your liking you might want a bit more heat or a bit more vinegar or a bit more soy sauce if you wanted a bit more salty I like it quite hot so I added another quarter of a teaspoon and then I'm just going to put that to the side by the way this is my own homemade chili oil which I'll put a link to if you're interested in making your own so here's the dough ball from the, I mean the dough disc <laughs> rather, from the fridge. It's rested for at least 10 minutes, preferably 30 minutes. I'm just going to unwrap it and then put it onto a board. Make that a floured board because we're going to cut it and roll. So just add a bit of flour down so it doesn't stick to your chopping board and then turn out your dough disc onto that floured board. And now I'm just going to get a standard butter knife, you can use a sharp knife if you like, to cut my dough into even pieces. If it sticks like you see it stick there um, to the dough, just add a little bit of flour and rub it onto your knife before cutting it. So I'm going to cut it into 12 even pieces and I like to do this by cutting it into quarters and then each quarter into thirds. Radio. Now I'm going to grab one of those portions and set aside the rest of my dough. All right, to my work surface I'm going to add some flour and knead my dough into a rough ball, squish it down and then use a rolling pin to roll it out into a rough circle, adding some a dusting of flour every time it gets a bit too sticky. Now I roll each one out to about 3mm thickness. I'm going to be running two frying pans when I cook them so I like to do two at a time but it also gives me a chance to show you again how I like to roll them out. So roll it out, when it gets sticky add a little bit of flour and roll it out to about 3mm thick in a rough circle or shape. I'm not too fast about getting it too circular, so as long as it's flat enough. To a frying pan on a medium high heat, I add a teaspoon of rice bran oil. Again, use any other low flavoured or light flavoured oil, like vegetable oil or avocado oil. Just swizzle that around so that it's evenly spread out, and then come along and add your rolled out flatbread. Now you just want to cook that away for about two to four minutes until there's lots of bubbles um, on that underside and it is a light brown. As I mentioned to be a bit more efficient in cooking these I generally cook two at a time using two frying pans on the stove. So once it's light brown and has lots of bubbles I turn it over and cook it for another two minutes or so until the other side is light brown. Uh, you can also cook these on a barbecue hot plate if you like and just put some non-stick baking paper down so that it doesn't stick to your um, barbecue hot plate. Right, and then set that aside and cook the rest. Um, so I've got a good stack of spring onion flatbreads here and you can see that they're all nicely bubbled up and cooked with a lightly browned surface. Bring in the dipping sauce. I'm now going to show you how I like to eat them. I just uh, rip a bit off and dip it into my soy, black vinegar and chili oil dipping sauce. And that's how I make these spring onion flatbreads. For more information head over to my blog craftyprocurian.com and thanks for watching.